Hi, this is Bill Higgins from the Jazz Development Team. Today I'm going to be talking about and demoing permissions features from Rational Team Concert 2.0. Rational Team Concert supports several different types of permissions, and these are the ones that we're going to go through today. Repository permissions are the fundamental level of access into a Jazz repository that defines whether a user has basic read access, write access, or admin access. Project Area Access Control is a new feature in Rational Team Concert 2.0 by which a Jazz admin can lock down a project area so that only members of that project or an admin specified access control list are able to view the artifacts in the project. Finally, role-based permissions is a mechanism by which a team through its process can define a set of roles like tester, project manager, developer, and allow certain operations for each of those roles. So now we're going to go into each of these in some detail starting with repository permissions. Repository permissions define a user's fundamental level of access into the Jazz repository. And to explain these, I'm going to show you how to configure them within the Jazz admin web UI. So I'm going to log in here with an admin user account. And once I'm into the admin web UI, I go to the user management tab, and then I'm going to click on my own user account. Now if you look on the right here, what you'll see is this section called repository permissions. And these are always going to be the same in any Jazz repository. Jazz admins is a person who has special privileges to read and write in the repository, plus create special resources like users and project areas. Jazz DW admins have special permissions with regards to the Jazz data warehouse. Jazz guests have only read-only access, and Jazz users have read-write access. Now, a typical user would not have to worry about this at all. Usually what happens is an administrator is going to map each of these roles to a group in an external registry, typically LDAP. And the reason we define these external to the repository itself is so that if there's a problem with the repository configuration, you can always deal with that external system to rectify the problem. So that's repository permissions. And again, typically only admins need to deal with these. The next thing we're going to talk about is project area access control. This is one of the major features of Rational Team Concert 2.0. In Team Concert 1.0, which we shipped last year, anyone who had one of those repository permissions like Jazz guests or Jazz users was able to see any artifact in the repository. With 2.0, administrators have the option of marking a project area as private to a membership or access control list. So let's take a look at that. So in this repository, I've got one project area defined JUnit project, and I'm going to open that here in the Team Concert Eclipse client. Now in Team Concert 2.0, there's this new access control tab, and if I go to that, you'll see that there's five different options here for granting access control to the project area. Right now it's configured as everyone, so this is sort of like Team Concert 1.0 where anyone in the repository can see the contents of the JUnit project. Now, I can lock it down if I want. One option would only be to let repository administrators see it. Another one would be to lock it down by the members of the project area hierarchy. And finally, there's some ones with a custom defined access control list. So for this example, what I'm going to do in a minute is lock it down to members of the project area hierarchy. But first, let me look at the uh, current membership in the project area. So if I look here, it looks like there's basically three members of the projects and the teams here. Bill Cassiavelli, Jason Mitchell, and Marcus Kent. So what I'm going to do now is switch back to the web UI, and now I'm going to log in as a person who is not a member of this team. I'm going to log in as Freddie, who's not a member of any of these teams. So I'm going to log out here as Bill, and log in as Freddie, and I am going to go to the sort of the normal web UI and team concert. Okay, so what I see here is a list of the project areas in the repository, and right now I see the JUnit project because it's not locked down. Right now it's public. So now what I'm going to do here is go back to the Team Concert Eclipse UI as an admin and lock it down to people to only the members of the project area hierarchy, so Bill, Jason, and Marcus. I'm going to save that here. Now when I switch back to the web UI, I'm just going to reload, and what you'll see is that now... Freddie does not have access to any project areas because the only project that in there is in there has the members only read access control. And now what I'm going to show you is if I go back into the Eclipse client and what I'm going to do 
is open this team area and basically make Freddy a member of the team. And once I do that, then he will have access to the repository. I'll just say he's a team member. Finish, save. No, I don't need to send an email. Okay, now if I go back to the web UI, refresh it, and now Freddy's gonna have access to this uh, project area with the access control. And now I can go in there and see the dashboard and act as a member of the team. So that's the access control, which is a major new feature for Team Concert 2.0. The next thing I'm going to talk about and demonstrate is what we call role-based permissions. Jazz has the notion of a configurable process such that you can define a set of roles for your team and say what each of those roles is allowed to do. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to show you how we can apply these process permissions to source control. Now each component in Rational Team Concert has a set of permissions. I'm going to demo some of the source control permissions for delivering code. So right now if I look at the members of my team, they each have this team member role. And in order to demo how the permissions kick in, I can actually take away the team member role and the scrum master role from Marcus and give him a stakeholder role. Okay, so Marcus is now a stakeholder. Going over to the Eclipse UI, I've logged in here as Marcus. And what I'm gonna do now is make a trivial change on a file and see what happens when I try to deliver that change. So I'm just gonna add a comment here, a comment. And what that's going to do is create an outgoing change set, which I can deliver to the team when I'm done. So I'm going to add a little comment. Added a comment. And now when I try to deliver this, it's actually going to fail. And the reason it fails is explained by the team advisor view. So if I open this team advisor view, it'll say the delivery failed because permission is denied. In order to carry out this operation, you would need per permission to perform the following additional actions. Deliver change sets. And then I can click on why this, why did this happen if I want even more information. But to show you the way the process system works, I'm going to go over to our JUnit project and look at the team configuration. So there's a permissions node here, and if I blow this up, what I'll see is my different roles on the project. And I'll look at the stakeholder role, which is what Marcus currently has assigned to him. Now if I look at the permitted actions over here, Marcus has very little rights as a stakeholder and it looks like he can basically mess around with work items but he's not able to deliver source control. Now if I look at the team member role, the team member role is fully enabled to work with source control including the deliver operation which is the one that just failed. So now I'm going to go back to the admin web UI and give Marcus back his team member role and when I add that and save it I'm going to go back to the Eclipse client now as Marcus and I'm going to try to deliver that change set and this time I expect it to succeed because now that I'm a team member again, I have that permission and I'm now able to successfully deliver the source control. So again, each component in Team Concert has these permissions. I demo the source control, but you can also lock down work items, reports, dashboards to a really fine degree of control based on the way your team wants to work. That concludes our quick overview of permissions in Rational Team Concert 2.0. Again, we covered repository permissions, project area access control, and role-based permissions. If you'd like more information on this topic, look at the Rational Team Concert product documentation or visit our website at jazz.net. Thank you.